Neen Daloisi Quinita Drew. Hi, my name is Quinita Drew and my spirit name is Lynn Dukdich, which means little running deer. I'm 22 years old and from Con River, a small reserve on the south coast of Newfoundland. My grandfather, Wilfred Drew, and my father, Clifton Drew, were one of many members that participated in the hunger strike to fight for the rights and recognition of our people back in 1983. I am blessed to have had the opportunity to be surrounded by community members, elders, and my teachings. My grandfather and my father both taught me the ways to live on land. They taught me how to cut wood, fish, snare, hunt. Just the traditional way of living. I am very much involved with my culture. I was actually baptized in a regalia that my grandmother had made for me. She has made all my regalias that I have danced in, along with my accessories such as my chokers, my beaded hair pieces, my earrings, and my moccasins. I was involved in a choir that was instructed by Brenda Jador, where we sang the traditional Mi'kmaq music. I attended Qantas festivals in Grand Falls, Windsor, and sang solos with my brother Philip Muse. I was a fancy shawl and jingle dress dancer for 10 years of my life. I attended the annual Con River and Flat Bay powwow almost every year. When I was 11, I moved to Steamville, where my uncles helped me build a sweat lodge, helped me build my very own drum, and I attended community cultural groups in St. George's. I attended moon ceremonies, singing, and gatherings with my mother, Marjorie Muse, who has taught me the importance of passing down our knowledge through storytelling. I have recently lost touch with my culture, and when I finish post-secondary school, I hope to have the opportunity to work with First Light and be reconnected with my culture once again. My culture is my identity, and it needs to be acknowledged so that I can pass it down to my children for generations to come, so the language and the culture does not get lost. Right.